Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. I have a Lenovo laptop here, and I'm gonna show you how to perform a BIOS reset on this computer. What a BIOS reset involves is getting into your computer, removing or unplugging your CMOS battery, uh, leaving it unplugged for a time, um, and then putting it back in. This will reset BIOS to factory settings. If you're experiencing any startup issues, this can be a good troubleshooting step. Also, if your computer's not turning on, this can be a good troubleshooting step. Um, after you try the first uh, my computer won't start video uh, below in the description that would be your first step Th this would be your second uh, so to get started if you have any questions or comments check out the frequently asked questions below in, in the description if you don't see your question there leave me a comment and I can get back to you uh, a, a few times a day at least so start with I'm gonna flip my computer over and try to get at my uh, CMOS battery Okay, so your computer may not look exactly like mine, or maybe it does. I have one main bottom case that needs to come off to get inside. You may have several easy access doors that have to come off first. Um, it, if, if you wanna be super safe about how to get into your computer, look up a disassembly video on your specific model so you know what you're dealing with. But most computers, you'll have to remove your bottom screws, watch out for any screws under your battery, watch out for any screws under your DVD player, some computers may have screws under your rubber feet and some computers you may have to take off your keyboard and undo some screws under there first uh, in order to get this panel off. So again, either check all these places if you're comfortable or if you want, uh, look up a disassembly video on your specific model. So this is your CMOS battery. It's a little round component here. It looks like a watch battery inside. It's wrapped in black electrical tape and it plugs into a port. Another common CMOS battery presentation is on this motherboard here. That's another common way you can see a CMOS battery on a motherboard. So if your CMOS battery looks like mine in my Lenovo, all you would do is, is unplug it from the port. Don't pull on the wire. Just put your fingernails on either side of that thing and slide it out, a little at a time, wiggle it out, and then you've unplugged it. So that's a BIOS reset. Leave that unplugged for a while, and then just plug it back in. If you have this other kind of CMOS battery here, uh, the way to get this out, there's a spring here that holds it in, and a spring underneath here that pushes it up. So we're gonna to wanna to push this battery back and up. Be very careful though, because this right here is very breakable. If that plastic part snaps off, then your battery won't be secure. So just be very careful, push in and up, like that. And it comes out like that. And then again, you would leave it out for a time, and then you would slide it back in and snap it back down in, in, into place. Now after performing a BIOS reset on a computer, you've reset your BIOS to factory settings, which means most likely your date and time in BIOS is going to be wrong. I'll show you now how to get in there and reset that. If your date and time in BIOS is wrong, it can cause all sorts of startup issues, um, all sorts of startup errors itself. So we're gonna get in here now and uh, reset our, our date and time. So I'm gonna hit power, start tapping on F2. Uh, depending on what model computer you have, that BIOS key, F2, could be different. Lenovo likes switching its, its, its keys around. So I've heard of it being F1, F9, F10, 11, F12. Um, check your function keys if, if one's not working, uh, but you're looking for your BIOS. Um, and when you get to BIOS, you're gonna tab, arrow, you're gonna look for your system date and time setting. So I don't see it on the information tab, I'm gonna go right over to configuration, and there it is, system date, system time. So just double check that those are correct. If they're not correct, then adjust them, uh, save and exit, and then your computer will start up. And that's basically how you perform a BIOS reset on a Lenovo computer. Uh, so please like and share if this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, after checking the frequently asked questions, if you don't see them there, leave me a comment. I will get back to you. Um, and uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks for watching, guys.